Alright, I got some good news for you guys. After I did uh, my last video um, about this adapter here, I uh, got a comment by Mizan Oro. Sorry if I'm, I'm sure I messed your name up, but um, anyway, he was uh, saying, can you, can anyone, can anyone try the portable monitors that support uh, display link? So I went and went to that link that he uh, provided. Thank you. And I uh, looked at uh, the different monitors they had available and I ended up uh, buying this one from uh, Asus. And the short story is yes, it does work and it does work uh, really well. And it actually works uh, a lot better than, than this adapter here. And I'll show you why here in a second. So yeah, part number BVU195, it's Display Link certified. This little adapter here, it's a H, it actually has a DVI um, uh, port on it and then I have this adapter here that goes to HDMI. This is USB going to the phone, it's USB 2, and I got another adapter to go to from that to uh, USB-C. The problem is when you play full screen, um, anything full screen that's got a lot of movement in it, um, it gets really jerky and grainy going through this adapter here. So I'll show you that. And I don't know how well it's going to pick it up, but here's the, uh, the video of the video <laughs> on the TV screen. And I think you can see it, it's, it's a bit jerky. Um, it's going to be real hard to uh, move that boom over here. Pretty nice and fluid on this actual uh, phone screen. Jerky. So that's the problem. Um, but when you connect the uh, Pixel to this uh, monitor, um, display link certified monitor through the USB 3. You, do, you get none of that uh, jerky uh, pixelated stuff. So I'll show you that here right now. So I, yeah, I paid like a total of $85 with the shipping as used. Um, so you can find them out there fairly inexpensive. This is an older model. Um, there's newer models uh, listed on their website here. Um, and I just got the cheapest one I could find that said display link certified but I think what uh, the difference is that these newer ones might have a better chipset a little bit better chipset maybe and they might even perform even better um, but none of them are 4k um, these uh, standalone monitors so let me turn the, let me show you what I got going. Same setup as before. I got this QGIM um, USB 3 hub powered coming from uh, just a normal cell phone adapter or power charger um, going into the, uh, the power um, port here, USB power, USB 3 power port. USB 3.3.3 so that's uh, I got my keyboard USB keyboard USB mouse um, all connected to uh, to this hub and then uh, right here is the USB 3 cable going into the hub so as soon as you again as soon as you connect the uh, the hub to the cell phone um, as soon as I do that, it pops up with that message here, just warning you not to, just to be careful not to allow sensitive information to be displayed on the big screen. And it pops up, it just works. Um, same, same, um, whatever, Display Link Presenter app, um, which is like the, uh, the driver, um, drivers basically that allow Android to communicate with the display link devices. So 
that's installed in the phone. Same one works with the just with that other old adapter over there, as it does with this one. Um, but the difference between that adapter and this dis this uh, display here is that you don't get you don't get the jerkiness. So. jerkiness on either one of them. Um, I'm still kind of up in the air. It almost seems like there's a slight amount of um, compression um, on this screen, but this screen is kind of small, so it's hard to tell if I'm just not seeing it because this is a smaller, smaller screen. But uh, it kind of seems like when you get a lot of motion and stuff going on, there's this a small amount of uh, video compression going on that makes the big screen uh, not quite as clear, but it's so unnoticeable that, yeah, it, it just, I really, even when I'm trying to, like, see the difference, I don't see the difference. So. So anyway, that works. Uh, the only thing that um, I'll use the uh, use the mouse here. So the only thing that uh, I do want to say is that you can't connect the phone directly into the monitor. The, there's not enough power on my Pixel 3a XL. Um, to uh, to power the monitor alone. So, for example, if I disconnect this hub that's that's getting power from the adapter over there, and connect the monitor straight into my phone, I'll show you what happens. Okay, so as soon as I plug, let me rewind on this video. If I try to plug the uh, the phone straight directly into the the monitor here as you can see it's the same cable here uh, the phone doesn't have enough uh, enough power to power the monitor alone it just uh, kind of glitches out and it, yeah it pops up like this and it recognizes it for a second you can see it has a has the uh, the model number and everything, but should turn this autofocus off. It's just not working. Always open display. So I'll hit I'll hit OK, but still I, it just doesn't just doesn't power on. See, it pops up again. It just keeps trying to do that. So it just doesn't quite have enough power through the phone directly connected. So you do need an external power source, unfortunately. Um, I'm sure that uh, this would work if you had it on a, on a tablet or something like that. Um, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't work the way I have it set up here, so, so yeah. Plug this back in. So plug in the phone, the hub back into the phone. And boom, there we go. So as you can see with when it goes, changes orientation on the phone, this is how it looks on the monitor. Um, so. Some of you guys were asking about um, showing you more apps, how they work, whatever. So some apps work really well, like um, for example, um, Google Chrome. I like it. It's got this, you know, 
give you a scroll with the, the mouse here up and down scroll the page up and down um, this is in the desktop site version of it this is a mobile site uh, not too much of a difference what other apps we got uh, Gmail this is how Gmail looks um, let's see Spotify so Spotify doesn't uh, support the uh, landscape mode um, so it, it, it switches like that on the phone so some apps are like that if we were running the um, the desktop mode like I mentioned uh, last time yeah we will pro it, this whole thing would look different and work differently and then work better so you can see it's turned on but it's not if you know what it actually is supposed to look like it's not it doesn't look like this. It looks. It has a bar down here. It looks like a Windows, Windows um, screen, like a Windows 10 uh, desktop. So, but uh, one of the other viewers on the last video, he told me about this app, which is pretty cool. But it's not um, the only downside. Uh, well, not the only, but. Um, Thing I don't like about it is as soon as you go back to your normal launcher or exit the, the program um, you're back to yeah the default like Android 10 launcher so I know there's a hack out there that will uh, allow you to um, choose which launcher um, is the default and then you uh, could uh, keep it in this mode which would be pretty cool so this uh, program let's see what is this called I forget Sharila or whatever incorporated so that's one that um, I'm using I think that's the one that he was uh, referring me to um, but yeah it, it's pretty cool it looks just like a Windows 10 or Windows screen you got my computer desktop downloads pictures it even uh, oops, quick launch. It even says C drive here, <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Um, you can uh, you know go in. This is a picture I took while I was delivering food downtown Spokane. Came out pretty good, except for my thumb there. <laughs> Instagram again. It. Orient to orient you like this you can't like um, you can't get it to rotate you're stuck in this orientation so um, here's this uh, this game All right, so my conclusion is that this this um, Diamond Display Link certified um, adapter is uh, the chips in the chipset in here from Display Link, the graphics chipset, is the older one. Uh, doesn't have probably doesn't have as much memory, uh, a slower processor, or something like that. So that's why it's not working as well and the, the video outputs uh, jerky when you go through here full screen and play videos and stuff like that at 1080p um, you can play videos at a reduced size on the screen and it actually is fluid um, 
with this so this could work for you if you're not doing any kind of if you're not playing any videos a full screen through it or um, playing games or, or whatever like that but um this this uh, Asus one this screen works really well I'm really happy with it it's perfectly functional other than having to supply a, an external uh, power power to it through the hub um, it works great and I'm probably going to use it with my laptop most of the time anyway so so yeah this Asus MB169B plus portable monitor um, yeah that's something like that or better I think is a, a real good option um, if you want to get just the adapter the HDMI to USB adapter uh, that's display link certified I recommend getting uh, a newer one than this uh, like a 4k one or just a newer one this is this is pretty old um, so yeah I I really don't recommend this um, this adapter at this point so so yeah that's it for now thanks for watching and uh, again if there's anything you guys want me to do with another video just let me know and I'll I'll see you about it uh, take care. Thanks. Bye.